Howdy YouTube! Darlington Farm. Yeah, a long day yesterday. I drove back from New Orleans. It's about 15, 16 hours of straight driving. Uh, just threw this thing in the garage here just so it was a little bit easier to film because I slept in until about 10 o'clock and it was super bright out so the filming would have looked crappy. But yeah, so we got our Kubota four cylinder in there. Uh, the oil on it is crystal clear. Uh, looks like they did a pretty good job maintaining this guy. Uh, 4,100 and something or other hours. Where is it? 4112. Uh, yeah, Vantage 300. Uh, I got this again from New Orleans. Uh, it seems like it kind of works. Um, I get 110 volts out of the outlets. But, I just kind of ran it for just a second here. We pulled the battery out of it down there. Hey dude, will you scoot out of the way so I can film this? Uh, pulled the battery out because the battery was dead when I got it. Or actually rather, it wasn't quite dead, but I didn't realize that it will not run unless you have the start, stop switch in the on position. I had about two or three seconds of spinning time on the engine and it was done. Um, so basically, this is an inverter machine. Um, where, let me flip this down here where you can kind of see what's in there. Uh, and still like the old DC machines. Uh, like an SA200, 250, you know, all those where it's a big DC generator. This is a three-phase generator that's got an inverter hooked up to it. And I took it apart here briefly just to blow the dust out of it. If you're working on one of these, this front panel folds down. Uh, there's a little dust cover that looks like a little kitty litter box that fits in there. And then here's your guts. Um, the worst deal, if you have a problem with these, this board right here is $1,800. This is the chopper board. Uh, this is the diode that takes the three-phase 220 out of the generator and takes it to DC, and then it goes over to the chopper board. Um, anyway, yeah, so kind of rough ideas. The control board. Uh, don't remember what this board's called. Um, but yeah, lots of wires. All right, so as you can see, I've had a little bit of time to play with this guy here. Uh, took my sides off, kind of inspecting everything. Uh, everything looks to be in pretty good working order. My brushes are good, sadly. I was hoping the brushes were the problem. Um, my engine looks really good. I just have a motor mount down there that has to be replaced. You know, the sheet metal's in good shape. I have a hole up here from where I'm assuming it was some kind of low jack type deal. There was like a little GPS antenna, cell phone antenna. Uh, I had to fix, uh, there's a broken just wire, you know, spade connector there on my oil pressure sender. But my hoses and everything look good. My muffler needs to be replaced or needs to be fixed. As you can see, they're really shitty looking welding from the factory, but uh, that guy's got to be fixed. Coming around here to, yeah, the problem. Um, so, like I said earlier, generator works fabulous. Uh, three phase, 240 output, uh, just no weld output. So I've been kind of playing around with it here. I called Stumps Welding, talked to their guy. Uh, there's a place down in Indy called Cox Equipment uh, that does welder repair, talked to their guy. Um, I was initially just going to buy parts from Stumps, but they want to do the work basically. And if they do the work, it's guaranteed for three years. Uh, you know on parts versus if I they just send me the boards. There's no guarantee at all. So I'll probably just have them do the work, but um, The guy in Indy seemed to think that it was most likely the control board which is right here uh, The guy at stumps seemed to think it was the chopper board. So as the place in Indy is only you know 45 minutes an hour from me I'm just gonna take it there. Uh, they're just gonna board swap and figure out which board it is and let me know I'm hoping that it's a control board because the chopper board is like $1,800, $2,000. The control board, I think, is like five or 600 bucks. So, fingers crossed that it is the uh, control board and not the chopper board. Um, basically, uh, like I said earlier, I got power coming out of the generator for the wel or the welding generator. It goes into the rectifier, or rectifies it, signs it to the chopper board, and that's where it stops. So, whether it is the fact that the chopper board is bad or the chopper board is not getting the signal to send it on is what I need to find out. And I don't really have, I don't have the manual for that. And I don't have the board to swap around, so I'm just gonna take it down there and hopefully I'll get some good news. <laughs> 